Welcome back, Blade fans. This old sword with you once again. I got a very special knife in house today, it just arrived from Artisan Cutlery, as you can see. And uh, it dropped a few weeks ago, I think. I've started seeing the uh, reviews come in around then. That didn't tell you much, did it? Well, so I can't spoil you by or surprise you <laughs> other than to show you that it came in this wonderful tin can that you could pack a small lunch in, you know. Bento box, if you know what that is. <laughs> that uh, Japanese uh, frequently pack a, a little entire meal in in one of the restaurants. Anyway. I'm already getting sidetracked, but I thought that the uh, these large boxes and large cases that Artisan uses are kind of remarkable. They stand out. So what we've got for you here in the typical Artisan pouch, along with the microfiber cloth, is the one and only Artisan Arian. Check it out. Red coral micarta scales. Thin as can be. Micarta. Oh, micarta. <laughs> Titanium pocket clip. Frame lock. Everything very lightweight. Um, you can see that that whole show side of the handle is solid micarta. However, it doesn't want for any rigidity. It's going to hold up just fine. Action, beautiful, smooth. I watched uh, Metal Complex do his uh, review on this and he was really blown away by how smooth this knife is. And for you large blade fans, it ain't small. Let's do some specs real quick from our friends at Blade HQ. Save me a little bit of time with the scale and the tape measure. Uh, quick overview, the Artisan Cutlery Arian was designed by Cerberus Knives to have a thin handle with a solid width for quality grasping and pocket carry. That's a term I hadn't heard before, quality grasping. Okay. Um, made of double coral red micarta scale, titanium frame lock, blade is S35VN, and um, here's something quick for you on the name, A-R-I-O-N, look it up on Greek mythology, interesting that the company is Cerberus that designed it which is one creature from Greek mythology. The Arian was an immortal horse in Greek mythology, which was very fast and bred by the gods. According to a source, it also had the ability to speak. And it was born of Poseidon, the king of the oceans or the sea, and Demeter, the earth goddess. You can read more if you're interested but I thought the source of the names are always kind of uh, something cool to read. Let's get to the specs. And the specs are, it's like the winner is, an overall length of 8.375 inches, blade length of 3.625, cutting edge of 3.5, blade width of 1.25 inches, a thickness of 0.13. Blade material CPM S35VN. It's a drop point, flat grind, satin finish, plain edge. Handle length 4.75. Handle width, that is top to bottom, 1 inch. Handle thickness only 0.42. And it's a tip up right hand carry, guys. Sorry about that. What's the weight? 
I keep skipping weights. The weight, where the heck are you? Uh, bu -bu -bu -bum. The weight is 3.63 ounces. Figured it was light. 3.63 ounces. Feather weight. So look at that beautiful red coral micarta. Built in lanyard pin, hidden lanyard pin. Artisan on the, the uh, backspacer. Titanium backspacer. Opening method. Very interesting. Just a slot. No flipper tab. Very minimalist. I find it opens like a dream with a middle finger flick. And if you use the thumb, get it down here. Don't try to do it like I was up in here. You ain't going to move anything. Got to get it down near that end of the slot. Comes open very easy. It's a decent detent. I haven't been able to shake it loose. The blade isn't all that heavy. Um, but again, flies right open. On bearings. Very smooth. Doesn't need to be drop shutty. Basically what that is keeping it from being drop shutty is the tension of the locking bar. Because if you move the locking bar out of the way, it just drops. But you don't want it to drop on the knuckle of your thumb, right? So, um, beautiful, large-ish, lightweight, thin, solid, great ergos. Look at that handle, just basically straight. Um, and we do great here in point down, no problem. Got a built-in guard in the handle. Very simple, very basic, very modern kind of uh, construction. Look at that spear point, drop point, and that high flat grind. And it is a sharp one, I can tell. I want to do a quick compare to two other artisan knives that are like kind in a way, basically in construction. Here is the Centauri designed by uh, Ray Laconico. This one happens to be in Damascus, stainless Damascus. A little shorter if you saw that review. But look at that. I mean, very similar designs. Very similar construction. Longer clip on the uh, Centauri. Nice short clip, but with plenty of spring and usefulness. Yes, on the um, Arian. And again, a little bit longer on the, if I can pair them up, a little bit longer on the Arian. And here is another one I reviewed recently from Artisan. And here we have the Dirk Pinkerton designed and I'm going to botch the name on it. That's also Damascus. I'll have the name for you in a minute. Funny how quickly we forget. It's a brain fog thing. You know, I went to look it up on my phone and then, what the hey, I remembered it. It's the tacit. <laughs> and uh, both of these blades have reviews. You can check them out if you wanted to learn more about them. But again, here's my point, if you excuse the unintended pun. Very similar construction and materials. 
Here you have one full side carbon fiber. Here you have one full side micarta. Similar back spacer, similar hidden uh, lanyard pin, and yes, a shorter blade. I got to drop. I got to pull back a little bit. Yeah. So definitely shorter on the tacit. Some of you didn't care for the tacit. You said you'd love it if it was larger. Well. Not the same blade style, but larger. Look how close that blade style is in its own way to the Centauri. Anyway, enough comparisons. Gives you an idea. We'll do a real quick comparison against... Um, oh, let's just bring the big one out right away here. The Rat 1 from Ontario. You know, it isn't that far off, as you can see. And if we switch them around, you can see that, yeah, we've got a little bit of advantage. Not much on the, uh, the Rat 1, which is usually the big guy in the block. So let's have another look-see, tour around a little bit. There's a really nice, I don't know if you can catch it in the light, it's very fine. These little micro-milled lines in the titanium, just about invisible, but they keep it from being too slippery. It's slick, but not slippery. There's that beautiful short titanium pocket clip. And that really nice red coral micarta. It's an interesting placement for Artisan's logo. And we have uh, the Cerberus logo here, I believe. Blade steel and a serial number. Look at that really, really nice satin finish. So there you have it, folks. You can get yours at White Mountain Knives. There is only this color combo right now, as far as I know. But keep your eye out. There might be others coming. So, giveaway coming up. I keep mentioning it. Haven't forgotten. Just getting my act together. And um, this is Good Friday today that I'm uh, recording this. You should see this in a day or two. Uh, but a happy Easter to everybody if you're celebrating it. And we will see you soon. This Old Sword signing out. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Be well.